so I'm Wim Hall from uh, Seattle, University of Washington. I have family in uh, Madison and they have beautiful, they have beautiful lakes here. Where do the lakes come from in Madison and uh, when, when, they, when they were made and who made them? I'm Dave Michelson, uh, Emeritus Professor in Geoscience at UW-Madison. And my specialty was glacial geology and history of Wisconsin's landscape. Before the last glaciation, which started about 30,000 years ago, there was a deep river valley that ran under where Lake Mendota and the other Madison lakes are now. If you could imagine being up on one of the hills around Lake Mendota, for instance, you would have had a valley there that was 400 feet or almost 500 feet deep. And um, when the glacier came down, it partly filled that valley, but it didn't completely fill it. And so parts of the valley that didn't get completely filled are now occupied by lakes or wetlands. Well, apparently the landscape at the time the glacier advanced down just had a very thin soil covering. It probably had not been covered by glaciers before. Uh, and so we had this big, deep river valley and the glacier extended out west of Madison, out to Cross Plains, Verona area. And as it was here, the material that the glacier was carrying was just slowly filling up that valley that was underneath the ice. And then as the ice retreated about 18,000 years ago, you know, it left behind, behind that, the depressions that we now see as the lakes. When the glacier retreated, uh, of course a lot of meltwater was coming off the ice. Uh, and at that time, what's now the Yahara River was actually had a, a glacial moraine across it down south of Stoughton. And so that dammed up the river. And so we actually had one big single lake it's called Glacial Lake Yahara, that was there for several thousand years until the river wore its way through this moraine and allowed the le lake levels to drop. So the, the Lake Yahara was about mm, 10 feet higher than the highest Lake Mendota level. As the river cut through that glacial debris, the level of the water dropped and it dropped enough so that it separated out into the lakes that we have now.